Welcome to the Harper Classroom, a series of instructional videos. This video is in linear programming ingredient mix with Excel. In this video, I will consider the ingredient mix problem and the problem solving approach will define the problem, formulate the problem, and then solve it in Excel using Solver. First, the definition of the problem. A cattle feedlot operation blends ingredients to generate low cost feed for its cattle that meet daily nutritional requirements. So in the definition, we start with the ingredients in the top of the table, and then we have the cost per pound of the ingredients at the bottom of the table. And then we have the nutrients. The nutrients that go into the feed from the ingredients. Then we have the minimum daily requirements of those nutrients. And then finally, the standards. And these standards are conversion standards from ingredients to nutrients. In other words, this 100 is 100 units of minerals is contributed to the feed from one pound of corn. And one pound of corn gives 100 units of minerals, 300 units of calories, and each pound of oats gives 200 units of minerals, 200 calories, and 100 units of vitamins. Which leads me to the business question. How many ingredients to buy to minimize cost that meet the nutritional minimal daily requirements based on the conversion standards. So next let's formulate the problem. The first step in formulation is always to find your decision variables. So let C be the pound of corns to buy and O the pound of oats to buy. Bring that down here and then f use the definition of the variables and the definition of the problem together to construct your objective function your constraints. So the objective function here is you take the unit cost per pound times how many pounds and that's your total cost. I want to minimize my cost. Subject to my constraints. With the left hand side of the constraints is how many nutrients are provided into the feed. In other words, I take my standards, multiply them times the pound of corn and oats, and the left hand side is how much nutrients I'm feeding them. That has to be at, at least as much as the minimum daily requirements. I add the non-negativity constraints and the decision variables, and next is we have the solution. So the solution is the Excel using Excel with a solver add-in, and I can either solve this graphically. This is where we would use the tutorial where we graph the constraints, identify the extreme points, and see which string extreme point is optimal. But in this video, we will use Excel with a solver add-in. So let's bring in Excel. I've already typed in our headings, so let's bring in the values and let's type in the values. So for the objective function, our coefficients is 6 cents and 10 cents. And then for the corn, uh, the nutrients are 100, 300, and 200. And for oats over here, it's 200, 200, and 100 for minerals, calories, and vitamins. And then our requirements. We come over here for our requirements is 5,000, 8,000, and 4,000. And so now let's set it up with the values. First of all, the value of our objective function is going to equal the sum product of the value of our decision variables times the coefficients in our objective function. Then the left hand side is the sum product of the value in our decision variables times the coefficient in our constraints. And that's going to be the left hand side value depending on what our decision variables are. Now I want to copy that down so I come back in up here and I freeze values F4 and then I copy that down. So I have the value of my decision variables the same in my constraints all the way down. Okay now I can bring in Excel, go to my data tab, bring in solver, and my objective function is going to be the value of my objective function. I'm going to minimize because it's an ingredient mix problem by changing the cells, and the cells are going to be the, the amount of pounds of corn and oats. Then I'm going to add my constraints. In this case, the left-hand side 
which is how many nutrients I'm feeding uh, the cattle within the feed, has to be greater than or equal to the minimum daily requirements. I press OK. The make unconstrained variables non-negative and use the simplex method. I solve it. Solver found a solution. All constraints and optimality conditions are satisfied. And so my optimal solution is 15 pounds of corn, 17 and a half pounds of oats, with a minimum cost of $2.65 per head of cattle. So there's my solution. So this ends the video, Linear Programming Ingredient Mix with Excel. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.